Thank you for listening to Read BBS. Ciao. Raid BBS, BBS. David El Monstro Benavidez versus Demetrius Boo Boo Andre. Someone's old, someone's old must go. Benavidez, of course, the youngest super middleweight champion in history. Andre, former 2008 U.S. Olympian, two weight world champion. Again, somebody's old must go. They'll be meeting Saturday. November 25th, a couple days after Thanksgiving. Now, to those of you in countries that celebrate Thanksgiving, of course, that's on a Thursday here in the United States anyway. It's a Thursday, followed by Black Friday. And then a couple days later, we have what's known as Cyber Monday. Well, since this fight is two days after Thanksgiving, let's call this uh, Super Middleweight Saturday. Super Middle Saturday. Or not. Or not. Getting into the fight itself, uh, Steven Espinosa, he credits both men for not sitting on their asses waiting for Canelo. And Andre, he echoed that sentiment, even said, fuck Canelo. Fuck Canelo, yeah, you want that payday, though. You want that payday, though, motherfucker, I know that. Fuck that payday? Of course not. Uh, Andre, he's a somewhat, well, he's a bigger name than David Morrell for now. Morel will be a bigger name in due time. But right now, Andre's a bigger name. Uh, David Benavidez also acknowledged this, said he's been ranked longer than Morel. And that's why, you know, the two boogeymans, the two boogeymans in the nearest uh, proximity in weight. Of course, Andre's been avoided since 54 and 60. So he brings it on up, moves it on up like the Jeffersons to 68. Where Benavidez has been avoided like the fucking plague by the super middleweight undisputed champion, Canelo Alvarez. But I digress. Andre, uh, in Benavidez's words, Andre is slick, but I'm bigger, stronger, and a better boxer. I would agree with that. Now, Andre said he has the power to hurt Benavidez. And that's just it. Andre has the power to hurt anybody in that left hand of his. He can... He can bang a little bit. He's not a puncher, but he's not, he's not someone you can play cheap by any means. Nor do you want him hitting you flush with a left hook, left cross, overhand left. You don't want to eat too many of them. It's, it's not going to bode well for you. Problem is, Andre, Andre, Andrade, he can't finish. You can give this motherfucker a pocket full of $1,000 bills and send him to a brothel with nothing but holes in there. And this motherfucker still could not finish. In a, in a brothel full of holes, he couldn't finish. Just what that is. His clear advantage, Andre's, that is, is footwork. Now, for whatever reason, Benavidez's hands and feet don't match. Benavidez has pretty good combination hand speed. He, he, he really does above average for certain. He's not as fast of hand as uh, Andre, but the gap between their hand speed is significantly lower than the gap they have in footwork. And that's not to suggest that uh, Andre is a runner by any means or he's on his toes dancing the entire time. No. But he does have quicker... Like, Benavidez is a fucking plotter. Let's just say it for what it is. And I love me some David Benavidez. His footwork leaves a lot to be desired. So one clear area of improvement that he has, has always had, and probably will always have. It just is what it is. Been trying to wrap my mind around a uh, flat, a facsimile, a close proximity facsimile of what this fight could be. Benavidez and Andre. Uh, again, David's kind of the plotter, but he's tall. He's got good boxing skills, good jab, real good uppercuts, and he he keep despite his build and the fact you know he's a recovering fat kid. He seems to have pretty good cardio, or at least he has in his last few fights. I see this kind of being, and it's going to sound like an insult almost to Benavidez, but kind of like a Jared Hurd, swift Jared Hurd, who wasn't swift at all, versus uh, Irislandi Lara. Hurd versus Lara when they unified in 54. I could see Benavidez Andre playing out somewhat like that. 
of course, Laura is more of a mover than Boo Boo Andre is. And Benavidez has more skill than her. They're both big, uh, big for their weight. They're both pressure fighters. But Jared Hurd was the black Antonio Margarito. That motherfucker was a goddamn sponge. He couldn't spell defense. It's like he would get offended if you missed him with shots. That's how piss poor Hurd's defense was. So, but again, this is a hard fight to just pick out of a hat and say, oh, it's going to be similar to this one. The closest one I've been able to come up with for now, to now, is uh, Hurd versus Laura. If I come up with a better analogy, I'll definitely post about that. I'm going to post about this fight a couple more good times anyway before it actually happens because it's one of them fights, man. Can't wait to see it. Read BBS. BBS. Blackbird Sugar. Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television. Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say.